<clears throat> maybe you found yourself in possession of an air hose that's been cut. Or maybe you cut yourself an air hose that you were already in possession of. Either way, you're going to need to fix it to be able to use that air hose again. So what I've got here is a 3 8 it's a Goodyear hose, but 3 8 inch air hose. Now, George is going to assist in fixing this uh, by getting in the way and generally slowing me down. So, stop. So what you're going to need to fix that is a fitting like this. It has 3 8 inch barb on this side and quarter inch male pipe thread on that side. Now you could use a different size fitting over here. You could use a female thread or 3 8 whatever you wanted, but quarter inch is kind of the universal standard for most air tools, unless you're in a very big shop where you're using half inch line and stuff like that. But this is what we're gonna need to fix this hose back to the way it was. So it's a pretty simple process. What we're gonna need to do is slide the barb end into the hose. And we need to slide it all the way in until it can't slide in anymore, like that. Now just doing that alone isn't gonna be enough to hold that fitting in place. So what we're gonna do is take a couple of these little guys, half inch PEX crimp clamps. So we're gonna take those and clamp this hose down. Once you've got one of these clamps out, you can take it, put it in your crimper, and just barely snug that down so that it'll hold it in place. And then slide it over the end. Now you should make sure if you're using a female end or something, you may have to put these clamps onto the hose before you push it on because they may not fit over the end. But what we're going to do is push it on so that it's just a little ways in because we're going to use two clamps. And then we're going to clamp that one down, open up our crimper again, put in a second clamp, just like that. So now you have each crimp end facing in a different direction and your male pipe thread there. So at that point you can go ahead and put whatever fitting you want back on the end and you can get back to work. Now, I've had my air hose set up like this for probably two or three years after the factory end blew off while I was trying to use it and uh, this end has not ever leaked. It doesn't hiss, it doesn't bleed pressure down. It's just been rock solid for several years now so I can say I'd highly recommend this. Now, in the case that you have a different size hose, and these half inch PEX clamps aren't the right size, you can order a Whitaker clamps in any size that you want from McMaster Car or somewhere like that. Even George will tell you all about that. But, so that's all for now. Get your air hose back working if you've had a lot end blow off. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.